I'm thrilled to present to you, Daniel Mentera. Hello. It's really nice to see so many beautiful faces and other faces too. <laughs> Um, I'm very excited to be here, um, but always a couple of days before, uh, this is I think my third time doing this, a couple of days before, about Friday usually happens, I start kind of freaking out. And I text Clifford and I say, what am I doing? Like, why am I doing this? This is insane, I don't sing. Like, why am I inviting people? Like, this is crazy. <laughs> And he always says something like, good luck in all that you do, Daniel, and just, just <laughs> chill out. And, um, and I was thinking, why do I get so nervous? And you know, we invite you here to this, um, to this day. It's not like we have some like, polished final rehearsal where we're you know, sh giving you a Broadway musical. We sort of invited you to um, peek into this process. But if you know me, you would know that I don't like anyone to peek at my process. <laughs> I'm very private about my process. And I don't even like to peek at my own process in the privacy of my own apartment. <laughs> um, and yet here I am in this beautiful place, historical building with a lot of people I know and a lot of people I don't know. And I'm just about to whip out my process and let everybody see it and judge it. And that makes me very nervous. Um, so in the last year, my family, my immediate family, all moved to Florida, and, and I miss them. And I've really been missing my mom lately. You know how sometimes you just have this feeling like you need your mom? And um, I've been missing her and thinking about the relationship that we've had over the years. And, and when I was young, and oh, I loved my mom so much. I just, I wanted to spend all my time with her. I wanted her to play games with me. I wanted her to watch me, you know, whatever I was doing. If I was doing a cartwheel, mom, watch me. I wanted to bake with her, and uh, I just wanted to be with her. And my mom, um, she, you know, she had a tough childhood. She grew up in some difficult circumstances, some trauma. And um, when she decided that she was gonna have her family, she was pretty intent on creating something that was really perfect. And as a very uh, in-tune little boy, like I wanted to help her do that. I wanted to help her create this perfect environment but I was also smart enough to know that I was already gonna fail, that I wasn't gonna be able to do that. And, um, and when you're young, you sort of create this idea of uh, what's happening and how you're gonna navigate your life. And sometimes what you're hearing is not necessarily what's being said. But I knew, or I thought, that the only way that I could truly get my mom to love me was if I was perfect. Sometimes it's never quite enough. If you're flawless, then you win my love Don't forget to win first place Don't forget to keep that smile on your face How long before you screw it up How many times do I have to tell you to hurry up with everything I do for you? The least you could do is keep quiet. 
Be a good boy You gotta try a little harder That wasn't good enough To make us proud I'll live through you I'll make you what you never was If you're the best Then maybe so am I Compared to him Compared to her I'm doing this for your own damn good You'll make up for what I blew What's the problem? Why are you crying? Be a good boy Push a little farther now That wasn't fast enough To make us happy But we'll love you Just the way you are If you're perfect